welcome back. So last week I discussed about how to improve the fertility of your soil and how that fertile soil tends to have a neutral pH level. Although it's not completely necessary to know the pH levels of your soil, in doing so will enable you to help your plants thrive. The composition of soil and its pH greatly affects the availability of some plant nutrients. Where most plants prefer fairly neutral soils, there are still many that can thrive in more acidic and alkaline conditions. You need two samples of soil, vinegar, bicarbonate soda and water. Sample 1 test for alkaline. Add the vinegar. If it fizzes, the soil pH is more alkaline. If it doesn't, then move on to the next sample. Sample 2. Test for acidity. Add water so the soil is wet. Then add the bicarbonate soda. Again, if it fizzes, the soil pH is more acidic. If there is no fizzing at all, your soil is neutral. So my soil is neutral, but here's an example of what would happen if it did fizz. If your soil is not neutral, there are ways to change the pH levels for optimum growth, but it's more easier just to work with the soil that you have. Here are some examples of plants that will grow in acidic and alkaline conditions. Acidic tolerant, blueberries, beans, onions and garlic, peas, potatoes, alkaline tolerant, artichokes, asparagus, cabbage, grapes, parsnips, acidic and alkaline tolerant, Carrots, corn, tomatoes, turnip, winter squash. Just a quick note, if you are growing from store-brought soil and the pH levels are not stated on the packaging, it is more than likely to be neutral. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this interesting, helpful. Don't forget to check out the other vegan bitches and I'll see you next week.